What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new series. This one is called Last Will. I've been looking at this game for a little while now and I was given early access to it today which is the 13th of August and uh, unfortunately I had to work today so I wasn't able to record the episode for you today but I'm getting it out. Um, it's now mm, just after midnight so technically it's the 14th you guys will be seeing it today and um, I'm gonna be releasing this during the time slot of Mountains of Madness uh, that's not going anywhere don't worry I just need time to replay the game so that I can get back to the point where I was uh, in the very last episode because as you saw there were some bugs in it and they are now fixed and we're gonna continue on with that game but I need about an hour and a half two hours to get to that point so uh, I'll probably record the whole thing and uh, do like a full playthrough on it for you guys eventually. Uh, that, that won't come out, but I'll be releasing Mountains of Madness within the next couple of days. So Monday or Tuesday it'll come out. I'll fill it in on like a 2 p.m. slot just so you guys are aware. But now back to this game here. We have a few options we can do here. We have a uh, credits and we have casual mode, play without time limits, escape room, solve the rooms against the clock, multiplayer, solve the rooms with your friends, and then quit to desktop. Now, I want to tell you guys, this game here is basically a reverse escape the room. So even though it says escape room here, it's kind of like, what it is is your, I think it's your uncle has passed away, he just left a will, and in order for you to find out more about it, you need to get through his mansion and find out uh, more information about him and the will and all that kind of stuff. So in the spirit of the game itself, I want to do it against the clock. So at least for the first episode, we'll try it against the clock. If things get to be too difficult or I keep dying or whatever, we'll go over to this one right here, casual mode, uh, just so that we can work through it uh, and I can cut the episode a little bit better. But uh, we'll try this out for right now. Episode three, the man the world forgot locked episode two the path to ruin locked episode one the long hard road home we ready for this guys ba bam okay so um this isn't going to be available for about another nine days and it'll be coming out on steam i'll put a link to it in the description there as well and um I'll have a secondary link, but I'm not going to put it in yet. I want to play the game first before I put anything in it, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there, and I'll explain that to you guys at the end of this episode. So, let's see what we got here. Act 1, Entrance Hall. Okay. Dear Mr. Glasberry, condolences on the loss of your grandfather. <laughs> okay, it was my grandfather, not uncle. As realtor of the estate and notary of the Sir Edmund Glasberry will, it is my duty to welcome to the Gladberry's estate. Uh, I apologize for not receiving you in person. It was the wish of your grandfather that you would be inspecting the house an hour before my arrival. I can only assume that the house might hold some valuables he wished to keep out of the will. This is not as uncommon as it sounds, and as always, I will respect the will as it is written. Regards, Simon Renwell, legal attorney. A bust of some Roman guy with a little Cicero at the bottom. Wait, oh wait, wait, we can uh, twist this shit around. Anything hidden on there? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, uh, what about the light? Nope, we want that on. I'm scared. And we can't see anything with the clock. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna. Oh, can we take that with us? Okay, we got it. So we got the lantern. Oh, I actually have to open it myself. That's cool, though. Normally it's just like click, done. Nope. Gonna be a little tricky to get used to that at the beginning, but what else? Let's do it. Let's do it. What we got? Nothing? Nothing? No? Okay. So the whole point of this is to uh Looney Millionaire dies, leave worn down the state to warring relatives. Stay classy, local press. Jackass. Making fun of my family. I'm gonna find that guy and I'm gonna kill him after I get my grandfather's golden gun. Ooh. Okay, it's just paint. Go that way. Okay, we'll do. And 
Oh, wow. Wong? Eong. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out what some sort of a code is using four letters. Uh, what do we got here? I am as strong as seven men. I am as tall as seven men. Yet seven men cannot stand me on end. Oh, man. Um, first thing that comes to mind is a ladder. Uh, can a student disfigure herself in disastrous chemical accident? <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Fuck you, chair. Can I climb on things? No. Okay. So we have a staircase there. Let's just check over here first. Oh, we have another one. Horn. Nailed it! Uh, what do we got here? I am here to make you feel my presence is often unreal. Why the long face? Why the frustration? After all, I am only a sensation. You and my body went separate ways. I fill out the empty space. Whoa. Moan? Nope. Not it. Okay, oh shit, we got all this stuff over here too. Hey, what are you? <gasps> Ooh, those licorice bites. Old tiny confections, almost super glued to the plate. Oh no, those are those hard candy ones. No, those are the licorice. What does it say? Uh, was the old man expecting visitors or beta testers? <laughs> I think beta testers. Uh, it looks almost like there would be. Oh, wait. So. One, two. Oh, did I already fuck something up? It's all a collection of non fiction here, mostly about cryptology and riddles. Nothing there. Some roses in a vase. Vase, vase, whatever. Surprisingly fresh, all things considered. Okay. Welcome, child. Welcome to my mansion. Now, no doubt you are here looking for your inheritance, but I have other plans for now. Having observed the rotten roots on my family tree as I grew old, closer to old age, I realized that none of you deserve a single penny from me, and I don't believe death is enough reason for me to suddenly change my attitude. That's why I remade this place. As a test, I have filled the halls with riddles and puzzles, and it is up to you to solve them to prove to me that, you're deserve, that you deserve my wealth. If you do not solve them in a timely manner, charges across the cellars will ignite, and this whole place burns to the ground. <laughs> So go ahead, let me see you being worthy of my name, or at least help me trim the family tree some rotten branches. Damn, that guy's awesome. Not sure if my grandfather stole it, bought it in a notch, and actually owned a ship once. Nothing would surprise me at this point. <laughs> well, at least it looks comfy. It is. Okay. Roman and Greek religion. Oh, we got something here. There is only one force humanity would avoid at all cost, one invisible and quite invincible, but it could but it would leave you the second it killed you. There's one force humanity would avoid at all cost. Force of evil? Hmm. Alright, looks like we're gonna have our uh, work cut out for us here. So say that looks like there's something in there. What is you? Snake coil up round and round, snake deep below the ground, snake that's never had a head, snake that binds but not with dread. Uh -huh. Interesting. I like how they did that though. Fuck out of my way. You know, like you look at it, it's just like oh, it's just like a piece of edging for the the wall there. Nothing there. Keep going in. Not then. Nothing. Okay, I think we've uh, ransacked the place enough. Who dat? Never seen him before. Okay. I think this is an old picture of my father before he disappeared. Oh shit, so your father disappeared as well. 
and see that thing that we saw in there it was like do this one and then that one then this one then that one so it was kind of like uh i think it was this one then this one then that one then this one but i think i already fucked it up <laughs> if that was what we we're supposed to do anyways uh okay so let's head upstairs and see what kind of crazy shit we can get into i gotta say though for beta testing um this is very very smooth i have to say that like just there's no frame dropping or anything like that. Uh, everything seems to be moving along quite nicely. An ominous painting simply titled The Lady. Mm hmm. Ooh, cool. Is this where we were? Yeah, it was. I don't remember that big statue there for some reason. Uh huh. So, so much I pay attention to details. No title and no signature. I don't think I'll ever truly. I don't think I will ever truly understand art. A painting titled The Throne. That's like the chair I'm sitting in right now. And don't need to turn that off, or do we? Oh, it's actually not on. Okay, let's run down here. Okay. Oh, good thing I came back here. President Carter pardons Vietnam War draft evaders. Nice. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything there. And nothing there. What about over here? Nope. Come on, close. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, now this isn't supposed to be a horror game or a jump scare or anything like that. It's, um... Strictly... Wait. The fuck? Oh man, I already screwed it up again. Oh man. Oh. Uh huh. Bam. I knew it. I was just thinking about that right there. <laughs> Strong as seven men, as tall as seven men, yet seven men can't stand me on end. It's a rope. Boing. <laughs> um, okay, wait a minute. Hey, I never saw that. Voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters. Voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters. And I'm assuming that goes with that. Okay, I thought, uh, wing. Voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless bites, mouthless mutters. And it's, uh, I'm thinking some sort of, uh, uh, bug. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, I was thinking wasp, but I don't think there was a P anywhere. Nope. Nope, I don't know what that one is yet. Okay, so let's continue over to this side. I just want to check this one out again. I am here to make you feel my presence is often unreal. Why the long face? Why the frustration? I am, after all, I am only a sensation. You and my body went separate ways. I fill out the empty space. Wow. That is a quite the strange one. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be putting in here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go up here. Fuck, I run really fast. <laughs> Catches me off guard. Okay. 
See the figure sitting over there, though, in the dark? Mm-hmm. I saw that. All right. Uh, turn on the light. Game door's locked. Of course it would be. Growing weed, too. A portrait of my grandfather doesn't look like a person I would miss, miss that much. He does kind of look a little pissed off, but, I mean, if his family is anything like he's saying there, then I, I kind of understand why. Uh-huh. See, I'm wondering if maybe these uh, have something to do with the, the images or the words that we're supposed to be putting in down there. So I have one already. Um, let me check up here quickly again. There was the... Uh, I thought there was a note up here. Illuminati. Nope. Okay, nothing there. What was that? A blank page. All oh, right. Creepy ass mofo. Okay, so that was the thing to that dude. Cicero. Um, shit. Okay, guys, give me a little bit here, and uh, just to save time on this, because we're getting up to the 18-minute mark, I want to solve at least these next two, so let me go off camera. I'll bring you back when I solve each one individually, and then uh, we'll end the episode there. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, I figured out this last one here. Uh, it really took a little bit for me to wrap my head around this. Uh, at first, I thought it was the past. I'm um, here to make you feel, so you feel the past, you know, past people, past things, past events, whatever. The presence is often unreal because it's not really there because it's already happened. Why the long face? Why the frustration? Possibly because you can't revisit it. After all, I'm only a sensation, right? So it's a feeling. Uh, you and my body went separate ways. I fill out the empty space. It's everything that happens and is leaving you, basically. So that's the way I interpreted it. But then I thought, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Pain. I'm here to make you feel pain, right? Presence is often unreal, um, depending on the degree of it. Why the long face? Why the frustration? And I am, after all, a sensation. You and my body went separate ways. So we got that one. But this one here that I put for wind, I didn't get to ding. So I have a feeling that this is wrong. Um, oops. I'm going to just respell it. Okay, it didn't. Uh, that was this one here. Voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless it bites, mouthless it mutters. All right, guys, sorry, we're back here, and I apologize for the strange cut there. Um, I ended up going and recording for over an hour, and um, we ended up getting stuck on this one over here, and it had... Um, you know, mouthless mutters and wingless whis wingless whatever. And uh, the answer that I thought was wind. And um, I'm sure most of you would agree with me. And unfortunately, it wasn't working. So I um, finished the game, said we're going to try and figure shit out in the next episode. And um, ended the episode. And I started a new game. And I went and I did this here in the dark. Night flies many hued phantom that soars and spreads its wing above, uh, above the gloomy human crowd. The whole world calls to see it. The whole world implores it. And my answer was hope. And that was right. So um, we had this one here, which is strong seven men, tall seven men, can't stand me on end. We know that one was rope. So put rope in there. We got that. And then lastly, we had this one here. Uh, ten fish I caught without an eye, or without an eye, and nine without a tail. Half of eight and six missing heads landed in my pail. Who can tell me as I ask it how many fish are in my basket? And while I'm looking at it, and I was like, okay, wait, 10 and 9, that's 19, half of 8 is 4, that's 23, and 6 is 29. And I'm like, well, it's a four-letter answer. And I was like, well, wait a minute. How many fish did he actually catch? He didn't catch shit. 10 fish he caught without an eye, so that's technically not a fish. 9 without a tail, it's technically not a fish. Half of 8 and 6 missing heads, so that's not technically. Uh, and plus they landed in his pail. And I was like, okay, so you didn't even catch those. You didn't catch shit. So I looked over here. I put none, and there was no uh, E on the end. So I put zero. And that was right. And just as it happened, 
It says the next room is awaiting, and we got a fucking door opening here. So we actually have the next room over here. And um, we're going to go in and check it out. Oh, shit. No. Very cool. I like the atmosphere of this game. So before we continue on, guys, I said that at the beginning I was going to explain something to you, and uh, I want to take a few minutes right now just to explain to you what it was that uh, I wanted to explain. Uh, we have a opportunity here for, for my channel, and what it is is the um, there's an opportunity for me to generate a little bit more revenue by the purchase of this game. So I have a link that I'm going to put in my description, and it's going to be um, lastwill.gg forward slash chills504. And anybody who purchases the game through that link, it'll actually generate income for me. Now, this is not a sponsored thing where it's like, oh, because I'm making money, I'm going to give this a better review or anything like that. I'm going to be as honest as I always am with this kind of stuff, guys. So I'm not just going to automatically go, oh, wow, 10 out of 10 would we'll do again. Um, it's not going to be like that. I'm going to tell you guys shit like it is. And um, this is the way I came because I'm not going back that way. I'm not going to just beef it up because I want to make more money. I'm going to tell it to you guys like it is. So, uh, so far for my first look and first impressions, as I told you guys, it runs really smooth. For a beta, definitely, uh, like I said, I have no frame dropping or anything like that. Everything seems to be pretty cool. Uh, there's a few obvious glitches where, like, um, in the previous room, I could still go up and click on things where there was no interaction with it, which I'm assuming will get taken out. Um, there was the, ob the obvious big glitch was uh, we entered in the three answers and I'm, I'm going to say 100% that that answer was wind, right? And um, we entered in the answers and it didn't progress us through the game. I came back in and I got those answers within 15 minutes and this door opened. So whether or not it was a timed thing that it says like, no, you passed your time, you're fucked. Or, um, you know, I, if they want to add in a message is like time's up. You know, and you have to start over, game over kind of thing, which may very well happen here too with me dicking around. Ooh, and um, you know, you never really know what the what the devs were trying to complete, and um, obviously, we're never really going to know until uh, we start giving them feedback and saying, "Yeah, this happened and that happened. Is that supposed to be that way?" And it seems like the devs are active. You know, when you look at uh, what they've been doing since. Jesus, that is annoying. Uh, what the fuck? Are you shitting me? I already did it. Look at how MOG Pro awesome I am. The library. So I did want to let you guys know that that link is down in my description. Again, it's um, lastwill.gg forward slash chills 504. And um, I'm also going to put a link to Steam in there as well. So this game on Steam, I'm going to put that on there for you guys as well. And uh, just a link to their normal website as well. I don't want you guys to feel like you're obligated to check out that link. And I don't want there to be any kind of a, a forced anything. Um, so if you don't want to check out my link, then don't. Go right ahead and check out Steam. Uh, it's like I said, I'm not being sponsored by these guys. They're not saying, hey, promote our game and we'll give you money and that kind of thing. It was a... Um, uh, a thing that I signed up for said that if you want to um, promote the game, you can. And you can put a link here. It'll be customized to you. Anybody who purchases the game through your link, you will make uh, revenue off of it. And it doesn't even tell me how much. It's not like you make 10%, 5%, 2%. It just says you can generate revenue. Uh, so I just want you guys to be uh, aware that that's what that is. I want to be forthcoming with you. I don't want to just kind of try to hide it in there and say, oh yeah, there's a link and I can make money. I want to be honest with you on that. So just so you guys know, it's not some sort of a gimmick or a scam. I'm still going to play this game as I normally would play any other game and not let the fact that um, my opinion on this game could affect the amount of money that I can make off of it. Um, 
because that's not what I'm about. You guys know that, um, especially those who have been around my channel for a while, that I'm not in this for the money. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for two years and I think I'm lucky if I made 50 bucks. So 50 bucks and over a thousand videos, guys. I'm making five cents a video. So it's not about the money with me. You guys should know that. Um, but the money, if it was to come in, would go back into the channel in the form of me upgrading equipment. Uh, one thing I need right now is uh, an external hard drive. I'm uh, running out of space to put all my videos on and I want to be able to keep a library of all the videos I've ever made. So uh, just want you guys to be aware. Like I said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, you already know what to do. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. You're going to get one of the most honest reviews that you could ever get for any game that's out there. Because no bullshit, no nothing. I'm going to tell you guys like it is. Fuck you, chair. Oh, creepy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.